we're going to do a Provencal sauce, and we're going to start. It's it's a very fast sauce. We're going to put some whole butter in a pan. Let this melt down. We want it to see when you use whole butter when you start off using it instead of clarified butter. When it starts to foam is when you want to start cooking with it. Because when, you foam, when it starts to foam, it's letting out the, the milk solids that are in it. And if it goes any further than that, it can burn. So the vegetables will always bring down the temperature a little bit so it won't burn. And you'll be able to get the, the proper flavor you're looking for out of it. And when you're cooking with butter, um, always have it at room temperature when you start out with so that you don't have to stand over a hot stove and watch it trying to melt. So now, this is the foaming we're looking for. And there's the flavor. So with sauce probe and salt, we're going to start out with sauteing some onions. And when you saute, you always want to have a high heat. And, and don't go into too small of a pan where everything is piled up high. Uh, always leave room for your vegetables to cook or your proteins to cook and, and you'll get a much better product out of it. It'll be done the way it's supposed to be done. Okay, so a lot of times when you cook with onions as we cooked in the past, you're we're talking about caramelization and that. We're not looking to caramelize the onions here. Because we want a nice, fresh, we want, to, we want to be able to taste it, get a little bite out of it. I just put in a little bit of garlic. I always put in garlic after the onion so it starts to cook and you get uh, the, stingy, the stingy sensation gone. Now our onions are starting to get a little bit dark so I'm going to put tomatoes in. And as you know earlier, we took the seeds out so the tomatoes wouldn't be so watery. As we saute it off, I'm going to put in a little bit of fresh herbs. You can use whatever you want. You can use parsley. You can use thyme. I'll put a little rosemary in. I'm going to put a squeeze of lemon in. If you prefer, you can use white wine. I like to use a lemon for the flavor. A little bit of fresh pepper. If you have a grinder, it's always great to grind fresh pepper into your food. And a little bit of salt. And this is your Provencal. It's pretty much how you like it to be, and you can just dish this and net this on top of fresh fish, scallops, shrimp, chicken, beef, whatever you prefer.